Tommy Robredo, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the last couple of years has been very successful for you. Uh, can you explain why suddenly things might have changed? I don't know. I think that uh, I was a good player when I was young and then I just was improving, improving and, and I could be on the top 10 rankings for the last two years and hopefully I can be uh, as well this year on the, on the top 10. But clay is obviously your favorite surface, uh, but you know, you've developed a game that can play on hard courts as well. Was that something that was very strong in your mind that you felt you had to do for your game? Yeah, you are right that normally I prefer to play on clay, but uh, on 2006 uh, I win a lot of more matches on clay court, but on 2007 I won a lot more on, on hard court and also I won a title in indoor, so I think that I have been improving on the hard courts as well and, and I think that I'm a little bit uh, a complete player, that I can play good on clay and good on hard and sometimes I can play a disaster on clay and disaster on hard, no, but, but anyway I think that I'm this uh, all road uh, player. And I guess that makes it, it gives you a bit more confidence on, on any surface then. I mean, if you, if you feel that you can, you can produce good tennis on hard court, on clay, on other surfaces, that overall your game gets more confident. Well, yeah, obviously, that if you know that on, on hard you cannot win a match, then it's no chance to be on the top 10, you know, because right now the circuit is made in a way that you have to play all the Master Series, all the Grand Slams, and there is just like uh, three, four tournaments on clay, so it's less than 30%, and obviously if you want to be there, you have to get points in, uh, all over the surface. So, yeah, I had to improve a lot, and I did it. Uh, my setup is a lot better, uh, my movement on, on hard is better, my volley is, I'm going to net sometimes, so, yeah, I think that I have been doing the work. Do you like going to the net? I like when I win the point. <laughs> Obviously, when, when I miss the volley, I easy volley, then I, I hate myself for, for going to the net, but I think it's, it's good to go there because then you can finish uh, a lot more points. Let's get away from tennis in particular. What do you like to do when you're away from the tennis courts? Uh, I live usually in Barcelona, in San Cuba. I have my house there and I practice there, so when I have like two, three, four days off, I just get the car, I drive like one hour and a half north to Olot where I, my father lives and where I was born, not born but where I grew up and I have all my friends there and I love just to be there uh, in the mountain, it's a city on the mountains and I have uh, quads, I go with the quad, uh, I like to go with horses, with, I have a friend that has horses and we just get the a small bag, we put a little bit of, of food, some drinks, and then this, we get the two horses and we disappear in the motor for a couple of hours and, and then going to the cinema, going to party with my friends, going to dinner, I think that's the best thing that I'm missing when, when I'm on the tour, but when I'm there I'm just enjoying it as, as much as I can. I'm going to ask you about some of those things in particular in, in a second, but I want to ask you, who's the best, best golfer in, among the Spanish players? Rafa says that he's the best golfer among the Spanish players and nobody else can come close to him at the moment? Uh, well, uh, he, he may be right, but I think that Ferrero is very close as well and uh, the rest, uh, we are not that good. But anyway, they have a lot of advantage because Juan Carlos and himself, uh, they are playing like, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 times a year and, and Feliciano, myself and all the others, maybe we are playing 6, 10 times a, a year. So. They are competing for being the best. Does, does it get competitive, like in te almost like in, in a tennis match? Who, Rafa? When, when you or when any of them are playing uh, golf together? Well, obviously if we play cards or we play chess, we, we just want to win. No? So I think that's the reason why we are top tennis players, because it's a single sport and anyway, if we all play cards or darts or we play whatever, small thing a game is, we just want to win and we don't care if we have to make a little bit uh, bad things just to win. <laughs> so on the goal sometimes, uh, who, who did it did, uh, one time just, I find the ball and then you just throw the ball. No? So uh, yeah, a couple of times for winning we, we do things like that as well. Now you've mentioned the horses, I, I understand that you love horses, you love to go riding. What gave you that passion and that interest? I don't know, I love uh, animals. Uh, but the big ones, I don't like uh, the dogs or the cats. Uh, I know every time I go and I see a horse, it's like, oh my God, they want to have one. And I'm going to have one in the future for sure. I'm not uh, a long future. Maybe this year I'm going to buy one because I just want to arrive to my house and, and see the horse and, 
just touch him and, and now this friend that I, I was talking he has a couple of horses and, and there is one of them that is the one that I'm just driving and well not driving just uh, riding, riding. Yes, yeah, yeah. so I know every time I arrive to the house and I see him just uh, I start like just calling him and he comes to me and I just can touch him and it's like uh, I'm starting to have feeling with him and, uh, and it's great that when you can have a feeling with a horse and I don't know, just go on top of him and just go one way or the other and just ride hard or, I don't know, it's, it's the thing that uh, I enjoy and I hope I can keep enjoying. Do you, do you like, are you, let me know, are you a good rider? No, 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 no. No? No, I'm just, uh, uh, I don't know, amateur rider, just, uh, I just go and... Uh, just for fun? Yeah, my, my friend just put the, the seat and all the things because I'm just learning. And then I go on top, and then I just know how to go right, how to go left, how to go faster and and slower. But uh, not much. But I just love to go on top of him, just open the gate and go to the mountain and just relax, uh, see the, the the nature, see the the forest and all these things, and, and just riding and riding. And, and then when I come back, it's like. I don't know, just, I just took a couple of years less of my life. It, it must be so nice because we know what it's like on the tennis circuits. Go, 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 go. And then just for you to get on a horse, just to ride out for a little while with some friends in the nature, as you say, must be so nice and relaxing. Yeah, always. Uh, I love the nature and I always do, uh, I don't know, we say in Spanish, barranquismo. It's when you go to the mountains, there is a, like the river and you put the, the suite. Yeah. and the hamlet and, and you just uh, jump to one uh, like a swimming pool a small one and then you just uh, swim a little bit and you jump again and then there's like the string that you have to go down like this and things like this I do as well and just uh, getting a bike and riding as well cycling in the mountain or on the streets and I love to do all the things on the nature because it's like I know you get uh, oxygen and, and you just open your mind relax because on tennis yeah, everything can, can look at us and say, oh, it's great, you're traveling, you're visiting a lot of places, but we don't do that. We travel for sure, but we're all day on the tennis, on the hotel, and, and I know it's a lot of stress. It's one match, one match, and then the press, then the fans, and, and I know, I love to be with my, my people, with my friends, with my family, and be, being in a quiet place, so when I get the horse, or when I get the bike, or when I just put the suite to go to the war, it's like, I'm myself there relaxing and just enjoying and, and being quiet and that's great. You've mentioned music and you've mentioned movies and what do you like to, to listen to? What what sort of movies do you like to go and see? Well, lately I haven't seen much uh, great movies. The uh, last one that I thought it was a good, it was American Gangster. That it was very good, but I know when I go to the cinema, I don't like to see uh, scary movies. I, I always like to see like uh, movies, uh, action or love or uh, thriller, but uh, never the, the ones that you have to be like this in the cinema or thinking a lot. So, and then music, I don't know. I just like to put the radio and to listen to the old songs, the new songs, not the heavy metal ones, uh, and sometimes the classic ones, but only when I really want to be quiet. Do you read a lot? No, no, I don't. I'm studying now a little bit. I'm what are you studying? I'm studying economics because uh, in Spain, that uh, when you stop studying before to go to university, now there is a like a, a studying program for the people over 25 years that if you make exam and you can pass this exam, then you can study on the university. And now I'm studying this. It's in a distance, and I'm having the exams on the on April. So. Hopefully I can go through that and, and next year I can study a little more. But something so far away from exams and riding horses, uh, you posing again naked? <laughs> Tell us about that. Well, I think it was a good thing that, that we yeah. did. The ATP just come to me and say, Tommy, look, there is this opportunity. Uh, we know that you don't want to post naked and I say no no for sure not but it's for a cancer reason and it's going to be in a good places and if you want to do it it's going to be great for you and and I was thinking you know and and at the beginning I say no way posting naked you know I can be naked in the locker room but I cannot be naked on the newspapers but then I think that uh, we did it uh, and I'm I'm grateful because I think that 
it, it was going to the good place and everyone was talking on the good uh, way because sometimes when you can be naked there is always the people who can say oh he did it for money or he did it for just and I didn't get no one sense and I just did it for, for the reason because I think that it's, it's good to, to, to get people known to, to promote these uh, cancer things or other things and, and I think that it was, it was great. How nervous were you? Ah, uh, no, I wasn't nervous, yeah. no, yeah. I don't know, just, uh, I'm nervous when I'm not feeling good with the people yeah. who is shooting or with the people who I'm talking to. Uh, but these guys, they were very professional, they just came to me and, I don't know, from the first time I, I had a good mood with them and it was okay. The only thing, it was in a, in a terrace in the hotel and uh, I was watching the drivers uh, down there on the street and the photograph, they, he told me that they couldn't see me because there was a glass on between me and, and the street but for any way it was, it was tough, I was just <laughs> trying after the, the, the shooting I was putting something on because it was like, uh, I don't know but I, I think, and also the pictures, I, I liked it and I think it was good but I also think you are a very social person. You, uh, you, you always seem to be appearing in some of the social pages of magazines or the newspapers or anything like that. Do, do you enjoy that sort of attention? Well, I think that uh, God gives me the power to be good in, in, in a sport, and, uh, and in that case, in tennis. So I think that for being a tennis player, we, we have a lot of things and that we deserve, but also we, we, we have to give something back because uh, we have the chance to do it. No? So I think that for me, it costs uh, like this to, to be and doing things that it, it can help other people. So I think that I have uh, the fortune that to, to do the sport that I really love and being professional, being good, and, and then also being paid for that. that maybe when I'm going to finish playing tennis, I, I could have enough money just to do whatever I want and, and without thinking in, in what to do for getting money. So I think that when I'm here, just uh, if I can help someone and, and just uh, promote tennis or promote the sport, it's great. And uh, I did a lot of things and I'm going to do a lot more because I love this game. And for example, next year in, in my hometown, I'm going to do a, a World Chart Tennis Tournament. I had a friend that, uh, that he was a, a, a tennis player with me, just playing like uh, normal tennis. And then he had the car accident, he has to go with the wheelchair, and, and, and he come back and play again. And I was playing with him sometimes, and he was coach as well there. And, and he died like uh, a couple months ago, and, 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 and he really wanted to do a tennis tournament in, in a lot. Uh, and, I, and I promised him that, uh, that I would do so. I'm going to do it for promoting and, and helping him of his thoughts that he really wanted to, to promote tennis, not for normal people, also for, for, for handicapped people. So I'm just going to try to help him. Tommy, last question. You're still very young. There's still a lot of years left for you as a professional tennis player. But when the time comes for you to put your rackets away, what do you think you'd like to do? Ah, it's, that's the toughest question for a tennis player. You know, I think that I would like to have a wife, and you know, kids, and a family. I love kids. Every time I'm in a tournament and I see uh, the kid of one of the players, I always like to go there and play with them. And uh, I know I love kids and. and I would love to have family and create uh, my own family and, and just grow up uh, with them and then I know uh, I will see if I want to work in one place or in another if I can or if I want to keep playing or working tennis uh, I know but uh, what it's for sure is that I don't I'm not going to travel as much as I'm doing now and I would like to be in, in a place quiet there and, and just relax and, and creating a family. Tommy Robredo, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for joining us on tennis.com. It's okay.